I feel like celebrating today. Today's the day you die. No! You look uh, familiar. Oh, yeah, I remember. You look just like this girly I used to shag! At your command. Your weapon might be bent. Oh no, wait! That's you! If you cooperate, you won't get hurt. But if you give us any trouble, we'll kill you. Now, just so you know we mean business, I'd like one of you to give us trouble so we can kill him as an example to the rest. Who's it gonna be then? Oh look, we have a volunteer. The king, no less. Have at him, fellas. This guy's rich. Wagner up, good loot in his corpse. Watch it, you'll shoot someone's eye out with that thing. Looks delicious. I was hoping you'd come round. What are you? Compensating for something? It is no longer advantageous for any of us to frequent the hideout in industrial. Presently, I shall inaugurate a new center of operations in Bowerstone Market. You have been provided with a key which will permit access. Please endeavor to prevent its transference to an unauthorized individual. But don't you think your grand speed are cold without them? You're one of the good ones, Your Majesty. Bedtime, people! I can't decide. I'm not like trying to kiss your yeah. ass, Your Majesty. It's like you a are the most to sue awesome it. Ruler Winter's my favorite season. I love the snow. And that's when most people die. your own privates. But doesn't that embarrass your dog? You seem like a very nice person. I kill nice people, you know. You've been to the little side. I somewhere. sensed your presence before you even arrived. Ah, oh, it's the what great did you room. Eat? Hello. How good to see you, sir. You murderer! You've well, got some cheek hanging men around here. That make the best heroes. Present Whoa. company accepted, of course. You remind me of an old friend. He was a twit, just like you. Wow! It's the king. Bit of a 
a shortage on your goods majesty. at the moment, so I'll offer you more. Greetings, your majesty. Yay! Uh, at your hello. service. Great king. Ready to serve. Oh I'm at my. your command. It's the... Majesty. Again. It does tend to obviate the entire objective of maintaining a secret hideout if your enemies can simply infiltrate whenever they've the inclination. Lads, perform the specific services for which I employ you expeditiously. Huh? Kill him fast. Oh, what have we here? A notorious murderer, if I'm not mistaken. This should be interesting. You killed him, and it was killed. Ha, you see that? We're too skilled. You're gonna regret this. They kidnapped me. Please let me out. Never killed a king before. Looking forward to it. <laughs>
I believe I can state with relative confidence that your efforts are in vain. Even should it transpire that you vanquish my associates, this door is completely impenetrable. In addition to which, this cell contains a secret egress through which I may abscond whenever I desire. Meanwhile, my compatriots shall brutalize your person. Do you fancy that? <laughs> You haven't lost your touch. I'm surprised his men were foolish enough to fight you. Now, truth be told, my superlative intellect notwithstanding, it would appear this is not, in fact, the specific cell I so confidently referenced earlier. The one with the secret exit has two beds. All right, you have prevailed, Your Majesty. I concede. However, I entreat you to entertain a certain proposal. You have nothing to offer, Ferret. It's over. Ah, that pronouncement is objectively devoid of merit. I happen to have on my person a substantial quantity of currency. Let me go free, and the money is yours. As far as I'm concerned, you can stay in there and rot. But that's for the king to decide. You royal miscreant! This grievous malefaction shall be rewarded with equally grievous retribution. I'm sorry to say we are falling well short of expectations. The treasury holds nowhere near enough gold. But the kingdom demands your attention once more. The time has come to make a decision on Albion's drinking laws. Under Logan's rule, our citizens are restricted in the amount of alcohol they can purchase per day. As you can imagine, this has proved a rather unpopular measure. And yet many respected members of the community think the law does not go far enough. They would like alcohol consumption wholly abolished among the commoners. They feel, rather reasonably, that it leads to improper behavior and raucous public spectacles. These concerned nobles are willing to pay handsomely for the change in policy. Meanwhile, the commoners themselves would like the restrictions completely lifted, claiming they infringe upon their freedom and their rights. You cannot please everyone, Your Majesty, but you must make a decision. Oh, as you wish. Let the streets be filled with poor, drunken revelers. Perhaps it will take their minds off their impending doom. This will leave a noticeable gap in our budget, however. If you are feeling particularly generous, you may wish to make a personal donation to bridge that gap. Let us move on to other matters, Your Majesty. You have a busy day in the throne room ahead.
Samuel, the head of the Brightwall Academy, is ready to plead his case. I sincerely hope he isn't after a handout, though I'm sure Master Reaver will be the voice of reason, as always. Majesty. Greetings, Your Majesty. Boy, am I glad to see you. We've got another crook on the run and we need your help. Thanks. Bring him in and I'll lock him up. Why not? Oh, I can't believe you got me. I thought I'd never get caught. Well, well. You I remember tell you. that time we went swimming naked in the lake? Lead the way, then. Wait. You're not the mayor. It's you! It's really... Sure, you'll get your money for turning me in, but don't start thinking you're making a difference or anything. I'll be back. Just wait till I tell my mum. She's going to find you and she's going to give you a whooping like you wouldn't believe. Aha! It's the one they call the pest. Keeps pestering all the girls, you see, so we had to lock him up. Excellent work. You've earned this. Here's your pay. Oh, oh. 